looking for something to do with those little hands? You know what? This is a great idea. It's a do-it-yourself iPod holder. This is so much fun to make. It's made out of craft foam and some pre-adhesive or sticky back cut out foam shapes. Love this idea. Look how cute this is. Open that up there. Pull out the little iPod. Very cute, super simple to make. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, here's what you want to do. You want to start out with some craft foam. This is um, Flexive Foam. Creative Hands makes this in all different colors, and they also have some of these pre-cut shapes. They come in all different colors, letters, numbers, you name it, they got it. You're going to need some yarn. I prefer the red because it's bright and it's funky. And some Velcro strips, strips okay, um, and some scissors. I personally like these. These are the Fisker's Decorative Edge uh, Scissors. You can, they, you know, they come in different shapes and all that stuff, but the kids actually really love these. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to, first of all, lay out your iPod. I'm going to use purple because I like purple. Lay out your iPod, kind of eyeball it, okay? You're going to want to make a little holder here, and it's going to kind of maybe come up about that far. Ooh, look, I'll mark it. <laughs> It's a high-tech. This is a high-tech project. And then you're going to want to leave enough room on either side to stitch it. So I'm going to guess, I'm going to come down, I'm going to go right about here because I'm going to move it over just a scooch all the way up. Love these decorative edge scissors. Up here. Try and get it straight. And then, of course, we're going to have to cut this side to match. And then right down here. Okay, there you go. I'll just throw that in there and make sure that's going to work. Nice. Tight squeeze, but it's nice. Okay. Now I'm going to stitch these two edges together, just like that. And how am I going to do that, you might be asking yourself. Well, here's how I'm going to do it. It's very high tech. It's a paper clip. <laughs> and I unfolded it, and I left a little hook at the bottom, just like that. Okay? And this is what I'm going to use to sew my sides together. So I'm going to do this because it punches through the craft foam really super easy. It also comes off really super easy, so it takes a little bit of practice. You don't want to go too close to the edge because it, it will tear your craft foam, okay? So we're going to go through and just do a little running stitch is what they call it on both sides. Don't pull too, too hard either because, you know, the craft foam is, it's, you know, this is just a fun little project. I mean, it's not really something that you're going to uh, probably have, you know, for an ever and ever because you're going to use a lot. Besides that, you're going to get tired of the color purple and want to do a new one. Okay, so go like this on both sides. And you want to make sure, too, that you use a nice strong piece of yarn if you use some of the decorative yarns. Um, really aren't that sturdy, so for something like this. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go through that one more time. Oh, see, that's the thing about using these. But they do work. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, the girls across the street, we just totally had a great time making these. Okay. Only because I want this to be nice and strong on the top and tie it off. Okay. There we go. Okay. Make the little knot. Just like so. You might want to double knot that too. You can also make these bigger. You can do, you know, put Game Boys in them and stuff like that. Really cute. Okay, so you want to do the other side. All right. So uh, I'm gonna get a new needle here. 
This is how you do this, by the way. You just unfold these like this. On this one, I'm going to change it up a little bit, and I'm going to use the bigger hook now to hold my thread or yarn. Nice big knot, double knot, triple knot. Otherwise, it'll go right through the foam. Okay, stitch up this side now. Okay, so finished sewing that all together. Tie this up nice and tight. Okay, and you know, I think these little strings hanging are actually darn cute. Okay, so now we're going to make a little flap to hold the iPod, a little cover. And the thing that I used here are some Velcro strips. And the first time I used them, I used the whole thing and they were just too strong. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these and I'm actually going to cut them in half. And because that's really all you need. And then the key to this too is to really use a glue gun to adhere it. And so I'm using a, a high-low temp here. This has two different options on it. So if you're working with little ones, you want to be the one to use the glue gun and not them because they're very, very hot and very dangerous. Okay, so we'll undo that side. I always thought fingernails would be handy as tools. And they are. Okay. It's approximately where that goes. Right there. You don't need much because the adhesive on it just isn't quite strong enough. Okay? Okay. Oh, let me go ahead and put my iPod in there. Oh, so cute. Now I'm going to decorate it. Pick up some of these. Um, I kind of like this one right here. It's already got the... Uh, What do you call that? What do you call that, Amy? Design. Thank you. It's already on there. There we go. Oh my gosh! How cute is that? iPod holders, Game Boy holders, earphones, whatever. It's a fun, quick, easy project. Perfect for the kids. Just one little tip. Make sure that you're the one using the glue gun, okay? All right. Have fun. Oh, and by the way, I <laughs> almost forgot to tell you, the instructions and the shopping list, it's just right over there. Just click over there and go shopping.